subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, a comprehensive guide to loading data with PyTorches Torch.utils.data.data set. Introduction Loading and pre-processing data is a crucial step in the development of machine learning models. PyTorches Torch.utils.data.data set provides a flexible and efficient mechanism for handling custom data sets. This tutorial aims to guide you through the process of loading data using PyTorch, focusing on the creation and utilization of custom data sets. Step 1, Importing Necessary Libraries Before we delve into the data set creation, it is essential to import the required libraries. PyTorch's Torch and Torch.utils.data will be utilized for data set handling. Step 2, Creating a Custom Data Set Class To load your own data set, you need to create a custom class that inherits from torch.utils.data.data set. This class should override the underscore underscore len underscore underscore and underscore underscore getitum underscore underscore methods. In this example, we assume the data set is stored using torch.save in a dictionary format, where sample and label represent the input data and its corresponding label, respectively. Step 3 instantiate the custom data set. Once the custom data set class is defined, create an instance of it by specifying the path to your data set. Step 4, utilize data loader for batching and shuffling. To efficiently iterate over the data set in batches and potentially shuffle the data, employ the torch.utils.data.data loader class. Step 5, iterating over the data loader. Now, you can iterate over the data underscore loader to access batches of data during training or evaluation. Conclusion Effectively loading data is a fundamental aspect of building robust machine learning models. PyTorch's Torch.utils.data.data set provides a versatile tool for handling custom data sets. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you can create and efficiently use custom datasets in your PyTorch projects. ChatGPT